Good evening YouTube, my name's Leo Joak and today we're going to do something a little bit different. It's uh, come to my attention that uh, there's quite still a few a lot of people out there, uh, quite still a few a lot of people, mm -hmm, makes sense, um, that don't understand how to build a character on Dark Souls, uh, the stats required to wield weapons and also what it's like to be overburdened by obviously wearing too much equipment and also just general information about what each attribute will actually do for you so let's have a look at the character stats list first so as we can see we've got our character stats here and um, actually it'd probably be easier to sit down at the bonfire so we can sit back and go through each one, one each and every, every single one of them with you so putting different uh, putting um, obviously leveling up a different attribute will obviously improve your character in many different ways and how you want to build your character will depend on what skill points you spend so let's just go through them so vitality plain and simple it will raise your HP and it will also give you physical defense attunement uh, will give you additional attunement slots which allows you to carry more uh, spells so for this instance I will show you that I have uh, three different spells I can use. Um, I can use Fireball, which is the only uh, the only useful spell that I have at the moment. Power of Beam will kill me too fast. Um, and also, you'll also notice that Great Chaos Fireball actually requires two slots. So if you see down in the bottom right there it says slots two. So I need an additional attunement in order to wield that spell. So, going back onto it, Endurance will increase your stamina and equipment load. This is a vital, vital um, stat to raise in Dark Souls 1, um, for, different from Dark Souls 2. Um, I will go through that when I eventually get Dark Souls 2 for the PC, or the uh, Scholar of the First Sin for the PlayStation 4. So, go moving on, we've got our, one of our first... Um, attack attributes which is strength and strength works alongside with strength weapons and uh, I will get up at the bonfire and I will show you exactly how to identify what a strength weapon is so looking at these stats um, they can look quite daunting at first but they do tell you a lot of information and the one key things to really kind of have a look down at um, and really focus on are your uh, param bonus and your requirement param so I think it's parameter bonus and then requirement parameters, I guess. So under the param bonus, you have a guy with a with a strong arm with a letter C next to it. That is strength, and it means this weapon will scale with strength. And then next to it, there's a little hand up in the air. That's dexterity. That will scale this weapon in dexterity for a D. So while I can level dexterity and strength together, I will get more benefit out of strength than I will of dexterity. The one after is a little candle, that is your intelligence, and the one with the star is your faith. And as you can see for this particular weapon, I get zero, I get nothing, I get nothing, no benefits whatsoever from leveling those two attributes. So moving on to the next one, which is your requirement parameters. Again, same little pictures will indicate strength, dexterity, uh, sorceries and then faith um, so obviously we can see 24 that means I need a minimum of 24 strength to wield this weapon with one hand now two hands I believe is 0.5 less of what 24 is so we're looking around about you know anything between 16 and 18 is yeah. I, I was wielding this sword dual hand with 17 so it's a bit touch and go um, again with dexterity, the only problem with dexterity is you can't dual wield, uh, sorry, two hand it. You have to meet the, rem the minimum requirements for dexterity and that goes the same with intelligence and faith. Strength is the only one you can two hand, the other ones you have to meet the minimum requirements. So that's just looking at your weapons. Let's go and sit back down on the bonfire and crack on. So dexterity, bit self explanatory now, dexterity will level with dexterity weapons. 
Resistance. Now, this is the most pointless stat to you to level at I w until you haven't really got anything else to level in in retrospect. And even then, I wouldn't waste time spending anything on resistance. It doesn't do much. Your armor will provide enough resistance for um, toxins, poisons, curse resistance, you know, that sort of stuff. You know, if you look on the side, it's got your your bleed resist, your poison resist, your curse resist, all that will get resisted by your armor. You don't need to waste any points in this. Then intelligence and faith, pretty self-explanatory. Again, guys, you've got your intelligence for your sorceries and your faith for your faith miracles. Um, and that basically is pretty much it for um, you know, leveling up your attributes. If you find yourself fat rolling, um, put, you know, not being able to run around like I'm doing right now, that means you are overcumbered and you either need to remove your armor um, uh, or, you know, possibly spend some levels in endurance. Um, and that's it, I think, guys. Um, I can't think of anything else. I will go into Titanite in a different video. I'm not going to go into Titanite in this one. Um, that will be for a bit of a later on when I start getting to blacksmiths and I can show you a bit clearer of what's going on with that. But anyway, I hope this has been a bit of help to some people. I really do enjoy doing these videos. Uh, please like, share and subscribe and I shall see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.